lock and load. Didn't take very long to charge those batteries after yesterday. I mean, I only made about six cuts with the Sawzall and uh, I don't know, 30, 40 screws with this thing. But I mean, 10, 15 minutes and these batteries were all charged up again. More math was necessary last night. It gets quite complicated when you're dealing with overhangs, right? I need an inch of overhang of 10, but it's also going back 16 inches. Then I got a, up at the top where they meet, I've got angles there, and then you gotta figure out, because it's 16 feet of tin, but the posts are only 13 feet four inches apart, the outside posts. So I mean, it's A squared plus B squared equals C squared, right? Remember that from high school, for me 30 years ago, but, uh, Math does certainly play a role, obviously, <laughs> when you're building something. Oh, ho, ho. I'm like, not even an eighth off. Go. It's an interesting bird sound over there. I don't know what bird that is. Unless it's Sasquatch hiding in the bush over there. You know, the funny thing is, yesterday I kept hearing stuff in the bush. Not that I think it's Sasquatch, but all around here, you can't see, you know, 30 feet into this, into the tree line here with all the leaves on. But I ignored it, but as soon as Robin got home to help me, she said, there's something in the bush here. She could hear something in the bush as well. I said, it's been here all day. And then she tried, she tried to get it to come out by saying she was going to give it a donut or something. I can't remember what she said, but I said, don't tempt it. Okay, so I got her now just by eyeballing it right was my first where I plunked it down. So look at how deep I had to dig it down quite a bit to make it level and I had to slide it eight and a half inches that way. So the whole thing should be roughly square. I'm gonna have to make some minute measurements here right now and just make sure but once I get those in place and uh, I can start putting in the next set of posts. Perfectly level. I'm 
20 and a half. So it's very small amount. Like that much. Like right there. One little kick with the boot, you'd be surprised how much that throws things off. Can't see the line. My face is just dripping in sweat here. It's not that hot out today, it's like 20 degrees. a pocket in my shirt today or was putting the screws yesterday I need a drink. Cold beer would be preferred, but I don't have any. So I just went in to refill my water bottle. We have a water cooler in the house and uh, I think I figured out why I'm fat. I filled up my bottle and I turned around and I was headed for the door and then I went, oh, Doritos on top of the fridge. <laughs> I've spent about an hour and a half now and I have the locations for the nine posts are now in the right spots. They're all level. All I gotta do is put the posts in and we're gonna be good to go here. Just gotta um, support them. Okay. Drill. I had an extra set of arms so that's how tall the front of the shed's gonna be can we even see it in this thing can't see ten feet anyway an older fella I say older, he would have been in his 50s when I knew him. Showed me the importance of bracing your stuff as you're going along. I was just winging it and I'm going to hold this wall up until I get the other wall tacked over here. And I guess he was in construction for years. He knew it, right? And uh, first time I met him, <laughs> he gave me that advice and uh, he had come over to help with something when I was building the addition here. And him and I actually 
we went fishing a few times and uh, became friends with him, but uh, he's passed on now. So he's probably looking down saying, yeah, brace that thing. Okay, so I just had to spend like, I don't know, four to five minutes. I told you if I made a mistake, I would let you know. Uh, but that's why you keep checking when you're building something, right? So you can see these crosser pieces I got connecting to the post here, and then I got one here, and the piece that runs this way, okay? So this side was square, which is supposed to be, obviously, and in that corner was way off. So I actually had to move that post. I don't know how I got so out of whack since I did all that measuring this morning. This in the middle has to be shifted to make the space between the posts all equal. So yeah, everything would have been out of whack. But the reason you have to check that is because if it's not square, your tin won't go on properly. It'll be all on an angle. So everything has to be square, just like when you're building anything.